I remember the 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 long late night that we uh, reached this agreement with the state. Um, early morning. Back in January uh, <laughs> of of this year, early early morning hours. Yes. One of the other members of the bargaining team, also a home care worker, uh, young twenty something, uh, graduate student in college, and dedicated caregiver with multiple multiple clients, um, just sort of had this moment. Um, as we as we saw the wage scale, both the the wage floor increase and then especially the wage scale, where there's recognition for mm -hmm. developing experience and expertise in this workforce, and where the, the the if you have some of that experience, you might have a, a wage of of twenty one or twenty two or even twenty two fifty. Um, where she she just said she 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 um, we were all crying, but she she kind of burst into tears and she said. You know what? I've been planning to leave my work as a PCA to go to nursing school mm. because I want to have a decent life and be able to buy a house and do all the things that people want to do. And that and and it's made me so sad because I love being a PCA and that's what I want to do. And with this contract, with this wage scale, maybe I won't go to nursing school. It is a form of recognition for the profession of caregiving that, as you said, David, is long overdue. Um, yeah, this, this, this job has been so invisible for so long. And now not only is it visible, it's actually getting the respect and the fair pay that is even better than, you know, some some equivalent jobs in healthcare that that have had unions and have had um, the ability to, to win things like this for a long time. And and we hope that a lot of people start thinking not only about like Ellen did staying as PCAs, but becoming PCAs. Right. Because right. they're attracted to having a decent wage.